קל קדוש, בוקר אור, מסכת בבא מציעה דף פז, זין עמוד א', 87A1. Yesterday we were speaking about the entire concept of why is it that by Abraham Avinu, the Malachim came and they said, Minli, Ken Ta'asek, Kasher Dibata, we're going to do exactly what you tell us, but by law, they had to receive a Yivtzar Ba'om Me'ol Mamash, he had to put a lot of pressure on them. Amar Rabbi Elazar says, Rabbi Elazar Mikadosh, but Sabrina Katan, and Sabrina Gadol. What does that mean? From here we learn that when somebody comes and they ask you to do something, if it's going to be a Katan, so yeah, no, you say, no, no, you're out of respect, no, 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 no. But if it's a Gadol, immediately they tell you to do something, and immediately you do it, right? There's no, you don't uh, resist, right? You don't start to, no, no, I'm being, a, no, right away. You do it and that's it. No questions asked. Says the Gemara, Ketiv, it's written, Ve'chafat lechem, I will take bread. Uchtiv, and it's written, Ela bakar, that's Abraham, that Abraham Avinu came running to the cattle. Amar Abiy Lazar, says Abiy Lazar, Mikan she'sadikim omrim me'at, you see from here the concept that we mentioned yesterday. What does that mean? He said a little bit. He didn't say a lot. He comes, kind of oh, I'm going to give you some bread. <laughs> he goes in and makes him a five course meal, right? A luxurious meal with this, that, ah, look, eggs, cheese, this, everything, not just a, you know, a little tiny breakfast. You understand? So he says, Rishayim, they come, they say a lot. But they don't even do a little bit. Yeah, what does that mean? Sometimes people come and they talk and talk and talk. No, don't talk. Just do. Yeah, that's it. Menalan, how do we know this difference? So we already know, obviously, from the Pitkavot, but here the Gemara is going to say, Mefron, what does that mean? He comes and he says, Right? Right? Yeah, that's what it means. That's what it means. He took from him a coin which was shave. Each one of them was 100 mana. Because there are certain places that they call the shekel kantere. Right? Kantera. Right? So he says over here, so Ephron said, since he didn't say which shekel, he wants to take the highest, meaning like this. Imagine right now, I come, I'm going to tell you, dollars now we're in canada or we're in australia i'm gonna tell you no 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 no. Yes. since i didn't say which dollars i'm taking the highest one yeah you're gonna say uh you know whatever it is i'm, I'm showing you there's there's many different types of uh so meaning i'm gonna take the you know the top of the of the line why that's the way it is <coughs> Steve, it's written it's written right at the beginning right Solid. Now, one second. Kemach is not solid. Solid is fine flour. Kemach is like coarse, right? It's like uh, with bigger pieces. It's not fine. So, what's going on then? Amar Bitzhak says the Bitzhak, Mikan Sheisha Tsarab Tenea Beorchim Yoter Mina Ish. Right? From here, right? Because she was the one that said, let's bring them Kemach. And he went and he said, no, 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 no. Let's bring them solid. So that's why he comes and he says, right, that she was the one that came and she said, Kemach. He said, no, 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 solid. From here we learn that a woman is going to be more stingy than the husband, right, to do with the orchim. Okay, some people say actually the opposite. Um, he knew the nature of women to be stingy. And therefore he went and he said, Kemach, because he really wanted the solid. And therefore he went and he told her the Kemach. But Sarah, she controlled herself and she was a tzadeket, and therefore she brought the solid, right? So therefore, but again, and again, it's still teaching us meaning. According to the original way we were learning it, Abraham, right, she came and she said, I'm going to make them Kemach. He said, no, solid. Women are stingier than men to do with Orchim. According to this way, it's the same concept that Abraham Avinu knew this. So Abraham Avinu told her Kemach. She went and she said, no, 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 no. She's going to work on herself. I'm going to give them solid. But it's the same Yisod, right? That basically the, the women, right? Or Enea, Sara Enea, Dorchim, Yuted, Minha, Ish. So he says over here, yeah, he comes and he says like this. He says, Ketiv, it's written, Lushi Vasi Ugot, right? Go make Ugot. And then it says, Vikach Hema Vechlav, Vena Vakar, right? Vilu Lechem, right? I don't understand. The first thing was, I'm going to take bread. 
And at the end, you didn't even bring bread. You brought two goat. You brought cheman, chalav, and minimum. What's going on? Yeah? So he says, Amar Ephraim Miksha'a Talmido Shel Rabbi Meir Mishmed Rabbi Meir Said the student of Rabbi Shkara, the Talmid of Rabbi Meir, in the name of Rabbi Meir, Avraham Avinu Ochel Chulin Betahara Haya. Avraham Avinu was eating Chulin Betahara. Vesara Imenu Oto Ayom Pirsanida. That day, she became Anida. Meaning, she already said already, meaning that, you know, she was already, that, which one? Yes, he was like a Kohen Gadol. Chulim Mitara, I love that Kohen Gadol. There were also other people also that did Chulim Mitara, right? Again, obviously, this Isud is only with a Kohen, right? But he was, uh, obviously, he was very, very Chumrah. He was very Machmi. And therefore, since Sarai Menu became Tmea, so therefore, the Isa became Tmea. So therefore, she couldn't bring it to the table. Okay? Fine. So it says, So they told him, Right? What happened? They come and they say, Where's Sarah, your wife? He says, well, obviously, she's in the tent. Where do you want her to be? She was a tzinua. So Amar Rabbi Yehuda, Amar Rav, Rabbi Yitzchak, Yodim Ayu Malachi Shadesh they knew that Sarai Menu was in the oil. So why did they ask her then? Why did they ask for her? In order to make her precious in the eyes of her husband. Now remember, how old was Avraham Avinu? Right? Uh, imagine. I mean, how old was she? she was like, imagine how, how much, right? Imagine right now what it is what we're talking about right now. But think about it. You know what it is? We're talking about at this age that they're married already for 50 years plus or whatever it is. You understand? 80 years or whatever. Still. Yeah. In order to make her precious in the eyes of her husband. Why? Why? Why do you need to do it? Maybe it wasn't? No. Yes. To show you that the more that you do it, the more that it is. I understand, but why did they need to do it? Khanina. Rabbi Yossi Rabbi Khanina. Amar. Rabbi Yossi Rabbi Khanina says, Kedei l'shagel l'kosh el bracha. He wanted to send her the kos of Birkat Amazon, which means, right, the Balata Bait should always drink from the cup of Birkat Amazon in order that she should be blessed, right, in the drinking of a kos shel beracha. This is actually very, very famous, right? From here, actually, by the way, it comes down. The people that come, they do Birkat Amazon with a kos that we were just learning now in Simichat Chaver, right? By the way, if you remember. So therefore, if right now you're going to make a beracha, right, and you're going to make a beracha on a cup, what you do is you always make sure that your wife is going to drink from the cup because when the balabat, Balatabait is going to come and drink from the cup of the Birkat Amazon, it's going to bring Beracha. So it says here, Tana, we learned in the bright time, Mishum Rabbi Yosef, it says Rabbi Yosef, Lama nakud al ayo shebemilat elav. What does that mean? When it says, right, it says over there, Vayomru elav, right, al yesara ishtecha. So the word elav, there are nekudot, three nekudot. And all of them, one of them is on top of the letter Aleph, one of them is Yod, and one of them is on the letter of the Vav. Yeah? So therefore, right? So why does it have these three things? Right? Like I, I write a Yod. So Linda Torah, Derech Eretz, Shishal Adam, Rachsan Yashalom. Right? What does that mean? That here the Torah is asking Derech Eretz, that a person should ask Shalom Ba'alat Abayit. And therefore they did this. Okay? That's what it means. Because Rashi says that the Nekudot in the Torah, they're making it weaker, right, the word, as if that, you know, the, the one which are nekudot. So therefore, obviously, it's coming to teach us a drasha. So it comes out that if you have a nekudot on Aleph Yod Vav, so therefore it's like a yo, so which means that was the shela of the malachim. So the kavana was, right, the bemel lo yo malachim tzichim nishol a yo, right? Because they should have said, hey, chad, where is she? Right? But according to this braita, it comes to teach you that it was actually the shela of the recheret, shera ui nishol at baal al shlom ishto. Meaning you come and you ask a person, how's your wife? Not to send regards to your wife, that no, because that we already learned was a suit. But you're allowed to ask, how is your wife? Right? You're allowed to ask, and the opposite, not only you're allowed to, you're supposed to ask, right? How is the wife? How's the children? How's the family? 100%, there's what no problem. The no, to send regards to your wife is a suit. Yeah. Because that's in Shalim, 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 in Shal
says the Gemara, how could that be? Ve'amar Shemuel, Shemuel says, and Shalim Yishol Mishakra, you're not supposed to come and start asking about the Balabai. He says, no, Al-Yideh Bala Shani, which means when you're going to, you're not going to come and going to come and speak to her, but to come and ask the husband, so he's soon, the opposite, you're supposed to do it because of the Lecheretz. So then it says, okay, fine. But it's Chak Sarah Bikilba Lemor. Sarah starts laughing. Acharev Eloti Aita Liedna. Amar Chasta Achashen Ibala Basav Rau Ketamin. After the Basar already is, and now she has all these wrinkles. Right? Nitadena Basav Mashto Kmatim Chazal Yopi Yim Komo. He says, all of a sudden, what happened? It became soft again. The Kmatim, the wrinkles. So imagine this was a. Uh, they, they were paid for uh, how much? How much money? How much money do they pay nowadays for this? Yeah, they're coming, taking away all the. All the wrinkles, all the the chazare yoflim kuma. By the way, you should know even nowadays when they make all these crazy things, right? They look terrible, right? It, it looks it looks so fake, right? That it looks even worse. And you're like, what's going on here? You understand? But again, here chazare yoflim kuma. Right? What does that mean? That the yofi came back, the original yeah. beauty, natural beauty came back to its original Maybe form, things. right? Yeah. Ketiv it's written, baduni zaken, right? My master is older. Is elderly. Uchtivan is a kanti. What's going on? The law motiva kadosh baruch hu. What? Kadosh baruch hu did not give over the message exactly what she said, right? So Tana the very Ishmael. We learned this a few times already. We learned in the academy of Rabbi Ishmael. Gadol shalom. Look how great is peace. Shafilu a kadosh baruch hu shinabo. Even a kadosh baruch hu changed for the sake of peace. Shneimar at itzchak sarah bekilba vadoni zaken. Even it says, which means something incredible. We learn from here, he changed the words because really, Batman, she said that my husband's elderly. And then all of a sudden, who says, your wife said that she's elderly, right? Which is something incredible. Now, if you actually think about it, why did he need that? But you see from here that Akalosh Baruch Hu already understood that even the slightest little tiny pigia and shalom bait. It was already enough to come and that HaKadosh Baruch Hu B'Kmodo B'Atzimo changed. And that's why Hashem changed. To show us that it's not a system that somebody just changed and maybe HaKadosh Baruch Hu B'Kmodo B'Atzimo is doing it. To show us a lesson. To teach us this lesson. Huh? For sure. On your present. Yeah. V'tomer mi mile le'avraham and ikabani yisera. Then it says, one second. It's really written afterwards. V'tomer that she said, Look, HaKadosh Baruch Hu was Mavtiach to Abraham, and he was Mekayem that Sarah was going to be Tanik Banim. What a Banim Sarah? Sarah only had one boy. Right? Kama Banim and Ika Sarah. Amar Rabbi Lewi, says Rabbi Lewi, Oto ayom shegamal Abraham in Tzak Beno, Asa Seudah Gdola. Right? He made a huge Seudah. You call him out to me, and I'm saying, Hari item zaken uzkena shaviyu, These guys, they came, and they brought in a Sufi Mina Shuk. They adopted a child. Nobody knew who it was. You know how it is. All of a sudden, boom, ah, they have a child. Iowa. You know, people, they understand. You know, you have to understand that people are not foolish. You understand? When people come and they try fooling people. Yeah? Right? Uh, the people are not foolish. You understand? Meaning that uh, they know all of a sudden that these guys just brought another child from somewhere else. So these guys come and they say, listen, Avram and Sarah, they know that she's barren. They know that she's sterile. They brought a child from the shuk. So what happened? The Omnim said, no. Benenu, this is our child. But all and only that. They make a big party. What did Abraham Avinu do? He went and he invited all the He went and he invited all the Gdoleador. Right? Imagine this. Abraham invited the Gdoleador and Sarah invited the wives of the Gdoleador. Right? It wasn't that Abraham invited the family. It was like Abraham invited the men and Sarah invited the women. Now, again, obviously, you know, they brought their children with them. Right? They didn't have a babysitting service like uh, in the synagogues and all these things. So what happened? They have to bring the children. So they brought the children. Yeah? There was a miracle that happened with Sarah Imenu that she came and she was able to feed all the children. All the babies. Okay, fine. They said. Okay, fine. Let's see even now Sarah. A miracle happened. She was at... But Avraham Avinu. Immediately, the face of Yitzchak, they look like like Avraham Avinu. Patru kulam amru Avraham oled Yitzchak, and that's why they said Avraham was the one that held Yitzchak. Why? But since they have the exact same facial expressions, they said, "No, no, this has to be a, a photocopy." And I said, "I mean, this is a photocopy of the father. This is a true father." Okay. Oled Yitzchak, exactly. Yeah, because he says, "Why is it that he had to go again and say it?" 
So it's mashma that it's yilu hafku panav. But it's interesting. Because here it says mepach klastal panim shel Yitzchak. Meaning mashma that at the beginning it wasn't like that. Meaning at the beginning maybe you look like uh, Sarah's family. You know how it is. Everyone, uh, you look like the father, look like the mother, like the uncle, like this, that, 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 All of a sudden it changed. Copy, photocopy, Corbin copy. CC, boom. Exactly the same. Ad Abraham lo ita zikna. Do you know the Gemara says until Abraham Avinu it didn't exist zikna. Right? Why? <coughs> because they were exactly the same. So you couldn't know who was the father and who was the son. They looked the same. Umanda avabayel mishtay ba'de Abraham mishtay ba'de Yitzchak. So somebody that wanted to speak to Abraham would speak to Yitzchak. So they would make a mistake. Ba'de Yitzchak mishtay. Speak to Yitzchak. We'll go speak to Abraham. So exactly what happens. So he comes and he says. So what are they going to do then? So he comes and he says like this. He says, "At Abraham by Rachame, Abraham Avinu prayed, and all of a sudden, because of his prayer, came zikna to the world. Why? But then somebody could distinguish between elderly and the young. Shneimar ben says in the pasuk, Abraham zakem ba beyamim. Yep, he was the one that brought the zikna. Ad Yaakov." Exactly. Today they want the opposite. Yeah. Today they want to pray that there should not be zikna. Right? They want to look like the, the, the children. Right? They want to look like a okay. Ad Yaakov. Until Yaakov. There was no khulsha. What does that mean? Holy. Right? Interesting why it skips out about Yitzchak. Yeah, it skips out about Yitzchak. I don't know why. But fine. Right? It says until Yaakov Avinu, Lova Khulsha. There was no khulsha. What does that mean here, Khulsha? It says over here, exactly, that, that means nobody would become sick. So what happened? And therefore, when they would die, they would just die suddenly. Because they didn't know when the, you know, nobody... So then Yaakov came and he asked for mercy. And then there was Khulsha in the world. His father was sick. Until Elisha Navi came, it didn't exist. Somebody that became sick but he was nirpa mecholio. Meaning, once, once Yaakov Avinu brought the holy, so it comes out that there was a holy, and then Kaddish, there was nothing, there was nothing, there was nothing what to do. Until Elisha Navi came, and he was the first one that he invented, basically, that there was going to be a holy, but there was going to be a refuah. Okay? So, Ata Elisha, Barachame, right? Elisha came, and he asked for mercy. Right? What does that mean? So he says, right? Vipach, and therefore, he became cured. Obviously, in the footnote here, it does bring down that we're not talking about mamasha, uh, you know, like a, a cold or right or things like that. We're talking about mamasha, like a, you know, one of these sicknesses of a machala or all these things which are like very strong. The second they got it, Kadish, there's nothing what to do. Nowadays, there exists that you could get out of it because of the tefillah of Elisha and Navi. Okay, yeah, he says when Shneema Elisha chalat chol yo asher yamud bo, Elisha got sick. Right? And then Mikal de Chalach Chalach Ritz. So much that he was already sick in another one. But really, he was cured. Tanu Rabbanan. We learned in a Braita. Shilosha Holain Hala Elisha. You know, there were three sicknesses that Elisha had. Echad Shedechafo Gechazi Mishti Yadav. He came and he pushed Gechazi with his two hands. Vechad Shegera Dubim Batinokot. That he went and he sent the Tino, the, the Dubim, the bears. To get the tinokot, right? The echad shemem born one that he actually died with it. Shemem Rabbi says the pasuk v'lisha chala et cholio asher yamut bo. What does that mean? If you remember, we already spoke about this. You remember that uh, to do with the first of all Naaman. He was a satzav that he had the tzarat, so he was uh, uh, cured by Elisha Navi. Okay, and then what happened was is Elisha did not want to take a present, and Gehazi went and he went and he took the present. So what happened was is that he pushed the uh, Gehazi. He uh, got, got rid of him basically. Right? This was uh this is already the start of the Parnasim, which are crooked, right? Of these uh, you know, the, the right men that are not always are they hundred percent clean. So what happened was is that um the Klala went into the children of Gehazi. The Gemara says that it was so Hamun and everything that he pushed them with two hands, right? Not only because usually he should have pushed with the left, but bring back with the right. He mamashi so therefore it was like an onesh. So he was uh, punished. Remember the Gehazi. That means even though Gehazi did something wrong, he shouldn't have completely pushed him with two hands, right? You push with one, but you bring back, right? You slap with one, you bring back with the other one. You understand? That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah? Huh? Yeah? 
exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So he comes and he says, yeah, we said last night, you're allowed to say hakeh, but just say, uh, but just gadel. Yeah, just gadel. I want you to grow, but hakeh, you have to hit. If you don't hit, uh, they don't grow. Yeah? So he comes. he comes and he says, number 27. Yeah? Okay, this is the, the Na'adim Rekim, that they went and they embarrassed him. So he went and he sent them the, the bears from the forest and they killed out 42 children. No, 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 no. There's another story. There's another story when he went out of, I just said, when he went out of Yericho, once there was a group of lads that they came and they started embarrassing Elisha Navi. Elisha got upset. He cursed them. What happened? All of a sudden bears came out of the forest. Boom, killed 42 of them. Yeah, so because of that, yeah. That's what he says. You think it's uh, it's simple to start to start with the rabbi? No, no, the I rabbi gives a klala no, nimetz and boom, yeah, uh, forty two bears. No, Send them the bears. No, I thought you meant to run after the kids so they could get scared. No, no they no. killed forty two no, children. Arba'im v'shtaim na'arim. Elisha ne'enash because obviously, yeah, so therefore he became sick. So that was the second time, right? That he he became <laughs> sick. Okay, and uh, the third one was obviously the last one that he actually died. Fine. Ela ad shelo yatchilu b'melachat sev yamol lahem. Right, we finished with Agatas. Right, now we're going back to business. Right, so what do we say? We say, right, that basically until they don't start with the Melacha, meaning, remember that the son went and he called the, the workers. And the son told them, I'm going to give you Parnasa, I'm going to give you to eat. And the father comes and he says, Iowa, uh, you're, you're going to give them even like Shlomo Meis on and off, like Abraham Avinu. And then we started speaking, who's great, who's who that was greater, Abraham Avinu or, Su, or Shlomo Meis? So now the Gemara says, okay, fine, but before they start to work, Make sure that you tell them that the condition is it has to be before starting the work, right? That it's only going to be with Pat Mikinit. Amale Ravacha Bereden of Yosef the Rochasta says Ravacha Bereden of Yosef the Rochasta, Pat Kitnit Tanan or Pat Vikitnit Tanan. Or we talk about Pat Kitnit, which means bread made out of like beans, or is it both two different things? Bread plus Kitnit, right? Meaning, are we talking about the bread which is made out of it or two separate items? <laughs> Amale, he told them, Elokim, it's a Shavua, Tzricha Vav, it's Pat Vekit Nit, right, Kimordia de Librot, just like a Mota Etz on the Sfina, right, which is called the Librot, um, which I think they're called the sales, no, in English? How do you say it in English? The Librot is in English? Yeah, he says here, the Mot, Mota Etz, it's a big, the big piece of wood, which is in the middle of the boats, Nowadays, they don't even have it. That's the, what, pole. the pole. How do you call that? Fine. Thank you for your English, David. Yeah? Man, no. If, Make sure if I want to learn English. No, I'm gonna... if, it's a, this pole, no. if it's a sailboat, if this is the sailboat, it must. The must. That's the word. The must. Thank you. Yeah? That's what the vav is like. The pole. Exactly. Yeah? So he says, you have the vav. Kimordia de librot. Yeah? So he says, you're going to have to teach the French English. Yeah, so he says over here, right? So he says, so therefore that's why he comes and he says, that's a pat vikit neat. Okay? Fine. Rabban Shimon Gomilavan Shimon says, you don't even have to say that. Why? Meaning, you don't have to come and start telling him, by the way, it's only going to be bread. And then, no, 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 no. What? You're going to ask for a steak. Tell them to get laws. Get, get, get them out. Yeah? So he says, what does it come in the group? which we learned in the Brayta, so chalet apoel veomello ke echad vikeshlaim ibn Ayid. Right, your your sechar is going to be like one or two of the people of the city. Now he didn't actually mention the schum damim. No telo ke pachot shel asrilot. He only has to give him the least of them. Even Rabbi Yishua, those are the words of Rabbi Yishua. Chachamim omrim chachamim tei meshamnim benehem. What does that mean? We're going to make up shalab. We're going to do this. I'm going to come. I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to get you to work. So now what happens? Right, like one or two of the people of the city. Now you have two different things. You have the minimum wage of Publix, and then you have the minimum wage of uh, of Walmart, let's say. I understand. So what's going to happen? So therefore, you could give them the least of the both. That is the first shita of the Yoshua. Chachamim say, no, you have to make up shara. So if, let's say, Walmart was, uh, whatever it is, $8 or $12, 12 yeah, 12 so $12, and Publix is 15 so you have to make up shara between them, it's going to become in the middle. So it's going to be whatever it is, 13 and a half, right? Why? One second, one second. Let me get the mishum. Uh, I'll give the mishum in him, and therefore we're going to come to the mishum. Mishnah pezayin amud aleph towards the bottom, second last line. Ve'elu ochlim mina Torah. 
There are these people that are going to be eating from the Torah. Something that's going to do be to do be doing of the perot. So therefore, he's allowed to eat from the perot, right? Which means that if you're working land, so you're allowed to eat from the perot. Yeah, that's midin Torah. So he says ve betalush min akarka al shelo nigmera melachto. If it's going to be, meaning if it's mechubal akarka, he can actually eat from the fruits. If it's going to be talush min akarka, until it's not nigmar, the melacha of the putting them together. Because then working. obviously, meaning right? working. yes, until the, before it's finished the melacha of the priya talush, right? Not as though he's working, until you're finished with the with the fruit, right? Right? And it has to be something which is obviously growing from the ground. Okay? And these are the people that don't eat. How seven mechubala karka? If somebody's going to be doing mechubala karka, right? Pays animal bet. Eighty seven b. The shash she eng gemar melacha. When there's no gemar melacha, which means that he's not going to be. Uh, right. That means they're not they're not coming and plucking them out yet. The talush mina karka meachashim ben melachto after they already finished. Because once they finish, then he's obligated in maaser and chala. Or the var she eng gidulo minaret. So something which is not going to be gidulo minaret. So again, this is all the different things. So for example, right. Um, Right. Let's say he's going to come and he's going to milk the animal or make the cheese, so he can't start eating from the milk of the cheese. It's not gedule karka. If it's going to be a fruit from a tree, an apple tree, or whatever it is, that yes, he's allowed to until they finish the melacha. Says the Gemara, Menana Mile. How do we know that a poel is allowed to eat from something which is mechubala karka when it's still going to be during the time al gemar melacha? Dichtiv says the pasuk ki tavo bechelam neecha veachalta anavim kenavshecha kenavshecha sovecha. What does that mean? When you're going to come to the vineyard of your friend and you're going to eat, right, the grapes, Kenavshecha Sovecha. So he comes and he says, Ashkechan, right? So there, okay, the Gemara later on is going to say exactly how we know, right? But again, this is what we're saying. So it's Mashma that you're eating from it. So he says, Ashkechan, Keren, but that's only a Keren, right? How do we know, how do you know that it applies to everything? But it's only grapes. Let's say I have olives. Okay, anyway, you can't really eat it. But let's say, uh, uh, I don't know what, apples, any, any other type of, here you only have a vineyard. So he says, they learn it from the Kerem. Just like a Kerem is miyuchad, and b'shat gemara melacha po'el ochel bo. So to anything which is going to be kudile karka, and b'shat gemara melacha po'el ochel bo. Ask the gemara, one second. But male Kerem, sheken chayav ve'olelot. Remember, if you're learning from something else, the second that I find a stringency in the other thing, so I, I cannot learn from it anymore. So therefore, the keren, right, is going to be chayav olelot, right, which means that you have to give to the aniyim, right, olelot, or the eshkolot anavim she'en srigim, which means that they, they don't come out from the shidra, they, they, you know, they don't grow properly. So these olelot, you're obligated to come and to uh, leave for the aniyim. So therefore, since the Torah came and obligated you on olelot, and it's not like by any of the other thing, so therefore, how do you learn everything from the keren? So answers the Gemara, you're right. Gamanina mi kama, we learn from the kama, from the wheat. The wheat, when it's going to be mechubala karka. Kama gufa minalan, says the Gemara, yeah, but how do you know about the kama? Meaning, okay, we're learning everything, even the apple tree from the kama. But how do you know that the kama, you're allowed to do that? I could just come and uh, take down the wheat and just eat. So it says, the khtiv, it says the pasuk, ki devol ve kama trecha ve katavtam liyo bilidecha. It says the pasuk, when you're going to come in the kama trecha and you're going to take them liyo bilidecha. Malek kama, just like the kama, says the Gemara, one second. But the kama, is chayav and chala. Right? Remember that when you come, only the five grains is obligated in chala. Kama is a wheat. You're obligated in chala. So therefore, what are you going to compare an apple to this? So says the Gimena, kama, kama de, whoever told you that kama had to mean wheat, which is obligated in chala. Dilma kol kama, kama, maybe it's anything. Right? Which is not, not all of them are going to be chayav and chala. So atya kama kama, because it says kama kama, ki tiva chaktuv kama kama dorecha, tiva ta meachel chemesh ba kama. Right? right, which is omen. So he comes and he says, which is the selim and everything, or kol mine dagan also, right? One of the chamesh mine dagan. So he says, ma hatam kama de mechayev te bechala. He says, one second, just like over there, it's chayev and chala. So to here, it's going to be chayev and chala. So ikala mitrach, but then you still have the question, malak mashik nachem be bechala. One more time, we had by the omen it was the selim, it was barley, but it's still the five, the five grains. All the five grains, you're chayev and chala. That's why there's a mizonot, there's a bikat there's a you know yashan, all the. Everything applies because of the five grains. 
So therefore, just like the kama 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 is also talking about about something which is chayav and chala. So therefore, if I have a stringency which is chala, I cannot learn an apple from a uh, from a from the kama because the kama is a special deen. So I, you're right. If you work in the barley, in the wheat, and whatever, you could come and while it's attached, you come, you eat, no problem. I can't stop you. Okay, that's mina Torah. But whoever told you about the apple? You wanted to learn it from vineyard, you can't learn it from vineyard. You wanted to learn it from kama, you can't learn it from kama. Each one has a chumrah. So says the Gemara, kerem yuchiyach. Yes. Ah, what's the kerem yuchiyach? Kerem is going to prove to you. Why? He says, mala kerem. So it says the Gemara, one second, one second. The kerem is not chayav and chala. You don't take off chala for grapes. No. It says the Gemara, but one second, but the kerem, you had olelot. You had olelot. So he says, kama tuchiyach. The chazar adin. Lore izeh kere izeh. Right? At the Shavash of Behen, the common denominator. You remember what this is called? What we just did now. You remember what it's called? What is this called? What we just did now? Lori Ze Krize. No, no. Shaka Vatarya is, uh, is when you go in through the Gimara. The question is an answer to the Gimara. No. This is called the Binyan Av. Yes. You remember what a Binyan Av is? Meaning like this. I want to come and I want to learn from one thing. I can't think of so when I want to learn from one thing, and that's how we started the Gemara, we wanted to learn from the vineyard, so I say, care, Chazak But the Torah. problem is, I can't. Because the vineyard had a stringency. So says the Gemara, okay, fine. We can't learn from the vineyard. I'm going to learn from the wheat, from the Kama. Okay, fine. But the Kama also has a stringency. So we come, we say, okay, fine. You know what you do? I put a Binyan Av. It's like a, a building block of the two of them together. He says, each one is not exactly the same. Because Lord Rizek, Rizek, Lord Rizek, Rizek. Meaning each one has a Khumrah, that the other one does not have. Each one has a stringency that the other one does not have. But there's a common denominator. And what's the common denominator? He says that Sada Shavar Shabayan is Shekol Dabar Shekudu Lekaka. It's going to be Kedu Lekaka. Ve'gemar Melacha Poel Ochel Bo. So to anything which is Kedu Lekaka. Shad Gemar Melacha Poel Ochel Bo. Kapish? That's called the Binyan Av. So now, ah, and now we're going to come. We're going to try to... Yes. Right? But two different concepts. Because each one has different stringency. Yes, the common denominator. No, he says one second, one second. You just made a common denominator between the vineyard and the wheat, correct? Right? Well, what do we say? That means even though each one had their own stringency, that the vineyard has all a lot and the uh, wheat has tala. What we said the common denominator is both of them are gedul kaka and both of them the poel kudochelbo matai shu said to melacha. Says the gemara, both of them come to the mizbeach. Yes. Meaning, yes. you bring the grapes, yes. which is wine, on the Mizbeach, yeah. and you so bring the kemach. wheat, the Kemach, to the Mizbeach. So Mashe Enken, yeah. no, Mashe Enken, let's say an apple. Okay. An apple does not come to the Mizbeach. So for since yeah. an apple does not come to the Mizbeach, this Sada Shave that you wanted to make, this common denominator, I just said it's not a common denominator with an apple. Again, I give you an example of an apple, but it could be any fruit, it could be any, you know, but the concept, meaning, it's not a tzad That's what he says. Right? And he says, you can learn from both of them a zayit. Why? At the end of the day, you could still learn a zayit. Why? Because, right, you could include the zayit, meaning the common denominator can include, but it, it could only include a zayit. Why? What do you put on the, on the mizbeach? Shemen. Shemen comes from the but it doesn't matter. But the but fact that it comes to the the, 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 the fact it that it comes to the mizbeach and it's gidul lekarka and it, so therefore you will be able to yeah or the love dafka. Okay, you're right. Maybe you won't eat it right away. Okay, fine. You have to cure whatever it is, curate or whatever the word is. But at least you have to come and you're gonna have to come. You'll put the preserved. But meaning that you could eat it, that you could actually come and you could use it. Exactly. So he says the zayit the mat sadati. He says one second. Why do I need the zayit? The Zayit is called a Kerem. It says in a Pasuk, meaning that the, 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 the oil, the, the, the grape, the, uh, the olives, les olives, is already a vineyard. That's what it is. It says in a Pasuk, Kerem Zayit. And therefore, I don't need to learn from the Tzadah Shaveh Shabahim. So says the Gemara, what? What? That, that's what we're saying? So says the Gimara, my papa, my papa said, no, 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 no. Kerem zayit ikre, kerem stama lo ikre. He says, no, no, no. 
the, the Zayit could be called a Kerem Zayit, but it could never be called a Kerem by itself. Meaning when you say the word vineyard, it's a vineyard. <laughs> We're talking about grapes. There's no olives there. You understand? But if you say Kerem Zayit, yeah, you could call it Kerem Zayit. Wow, so don't come and tell me, Ma? Wow, one second. So he comes and he says, so don't tell me, right? Don't tell me then. Kerem Stam is always, in the Pasuk is always going to be Anavim. My Fali Ivrit, I said the Torah, right? The Kerem Stam in the Torah is always going to be a Kerem of Anavim. Yeah? Fine. So says the Gimana, Mikoma Kom Kashia. At the end of the day, you have a question then. What's the question? That you don't have a Tzadah Shaveh. So says the Gimana, Elamar Shmuel, but Shmuel says, I'm the Pasuk says, the Khermesh Bakarma. You know, it says over there, Vechermesh lo tanif. So what is the Khermesh there? Lerabot kol ba'ale Khermesh. It's coming to include anything which you actually come and you reap. So therefore, anything which you reap, you're allowed to come and you're allowed to eat. So says the Gimara, one second. I just learned it from the extra word Khermesh. He says, Vay Khermesh mi ba'ale bishat Khermesh. I thought we needed the word Khermesh for the time of the Ktsira. Echol. Shelo bishat Khermesh lo techol. But if it's not during the time of the Ktsira, meaning like this. I have an extra word, Khermesh. If I'm going to use that extra word for the time frame, so then I cannot use it in the type of food. One more time. I came and I wanted Correct. to come and say it applies to apples. How do you learn it? From Kerem. Doesn't exist. Uh, why? Uh, khumra. Fine. From Kama. Doesn't exist. I have another Khumra. Khala. Okay, fine. Sada Shaveh. Doesn't exist. They both go to the Mizbeah. Fine. You have Zayit. Okay, we went back and forth. No, no. A zayit is it doesn't include because obviously it still has sadness. Yeah, fine. But says the you still have a question on Sadat Shabbat. No, you're right. We learn it from Khermesh. Just one second. Why Khermesh? Anything that you cut down, you're allowed to eat. Anything that you cut down. So now you don't need the Sada Shabbat anymore. You're learning it from anything which you cut down, you're allowed to eat. You're, you're allowed to eat. Says the Gimana, that word Khermesh was not for that, what type of what you're allowed to eat. That word Khermesh was the timing. The Zman Katsir, the Zman Bashana that you come and you run. That's what you're allowed to eat it. But if not, not. Answers the Gemara, no. He says, that you learn not from the word Chemesh. That you learn from Vel Kelyechal Otiten Afkale. He learns it from Vel Kelyechal Otiten, which means that we already learned that a Puel can only eat it at the time of when you're going to come and you're going to be reaping, not when you're not going to put your utensils over there. Right? Because there the Pasuk is talking about a Puel that's working. So the, the, the Pasuk is actually coming and telling us right, that it's only during that time and not when it's not at the time of the... right. You can't come and start putting your utensils on it if it's not going to be the proper time. So therefore, from there, we learn the timing. And from Khermesh, you learn the type of the food. No, that's what we just said. We learn the timing from... Yes, that's what he says here. They learn it from the Pasuk, because this Pasuk is coming teaching us so that it's only Bishat at, at Lisha. You're not allowed to go. So that means the word of Khermesh is, is, is extra. If it's extra, I can learn that it's a type of food. So, so says the Gimana. Explain the openings. The openings. Uh, no, we're trying yeah, to understand. Yes, 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 exactly. The Mishnah. 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 So says the Gimana, Tainach, but that's only going to be good. The Bar Khermesh. So one second, okay. Something that actually grows like that. The Label Chemesh. That's something that you don't, uh, for example, dates. Dates, you don't reap. You, oh, one more time. We just wanted, to, you wanted to speak about apples, right? So, okay, so don't want apples, right? But here, we're talking about anything which, which grows okay. and you reap. So fine. You could tell us about things that, but what about dates? Dates you don't reap. El Amar Bitzchak says, Bitzchak Amarka, the Pasuk says, Kama. Kama is lerabot kol baale kama. It comes to include anything which are or omdim bekoma ba'aretz, which means yeah, on land, which means that everything is included. Everything is included. Yeah, everything is included. And that they learn from the word kama, right? So says the Gemara, what? You're again learning from kama? Ve'amarta kama, kama de He says, when you're learning from kama, why do we push off kama? Because we said the kama is chayav and chala. So you can't learn it about everything. I could again apply it only to things which are chayav and chala. What's chayav and chala? The five grades. But other than that, nothing else. Answers the Gemara. Hanemile. When do we say that kama means that it has to be that you're going to be chayav in the chala? Mikame denete chermesh. Before we knew the word chermesh. Hashta dati chermesh. But now that I have the word chermesh lerabot, itrabile, we're already including kol devar chermesh, anything which is going to be 
reaped. The Afa Gav Dolomer, even though it's not going to be Chayav, Chala, which is going to be, for example, Kitniot or all those things, the Kamal Amali, so then why do I need Kamal then? If you already, meaning, if I have the word Chermesh, and from the word Chermesh, I already learned anything which does not even need to be Chala, Chayav and Chala, so therefore Kama is extra. So what is Kama coming to include? Kama is coming to Rabot, Kol Baale Kama, anything whatsoever. Okay? That's what the Gemara says. The Hashta the Nafkala Mechermesh Umi Kama. So now that I am, I'm actually using like both teachings, but each one was teaching something different, but I needed both. So, so why do I need them kerem? So Amar Rava, Rava comes and he says, Lilchotav. To tell you the lachot that you need. Kitanya was learned and write a kitavo, neemar kan biya. It says kitavo when you're coming in. The neemar la alan it says, lo tavo ala vashemesh. What does that mean over, over there? That it's not going to come, the, the, the sun is going to go down. So, so the, over there we're talking about a poel. So to here we're talking about a poel and we're both talking about poelin. There we're talking about that he has to actually pay him right before oh, the night time. It's a payment before the night time. So before night, he has to come and he has to pay him. That's a lot tavo shemesh. Yeah. That the, the shemesh should not come on to him. But it come on, that means that it shouldn't set. So he says before the kedumah, the kerem reicha lo velo be kerem chuti. It's dafka kerem reicha and not a kerem av a chuti. That's the gemara hani chal mandamar. That's what according to the mandamar, gezel chuti is going to be a sul. And therefore, hainu did the kerem mishpol, and that's why the pasuk had to permit right the poel. But according to the Manda Amar that says Gezel Kuti is mutar, hashtag Gezela mutar. If you're allowed to steal, you have a question about a poel? So the answer is, no. Mukim la be kerem reecha. So that means get, a, get out of the kerem kuti, which was the goy. You have to say, no, kerem reecha v'lo kerem shelegdesh. Right? What does that mean? He comes over, he says, a poel that is, that is uh, rented out for egdesh is not allowed to eat from the fruits of egdesh. That means this is a stringency. Kit avo be kerem reecha. That is only Kerem Reecha, but no Kerem Shelekdesh. If you work for Egdesh, you have to put a muzzle. Not allowed to eat. Only Kerem Reecha. Which one? No, no, no. It's already Egdesh. Exactly. You're not allowed to eat. No, but I would have thought to say that just like I'm allowed to eat, I'm a poel. So I would have thought to say, just like I'm allowed to eat from your things, and, I, and there's no Yisur of Gezer, there's no Yisur of nothing, but I'm a poel, so it's like I'm part of the thing. So to Egdesh, the same thing. Salam and Shos. So I'm going to Kerem Reecha, you're not allowed to. Kerem Reecha, but no Kerem Shel Egdesh. Okay? No. Reecha is not Egdesh. Reecha is your friend, not a Kerem Shel Egdesh. No. It's not Egdesh. It's not Egdesh. It's not Reecha. I'm going to be, no? But I don't know, he put this basket. Be'achalta. The Torah says you have to eat. Yeah? Ve'achalta, right? That was the Pasuk. The Pasuk says, Ki tavo bekerem ve'achalta, 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 you cannot come and take the, the juice and spit it out, and right. spit out the rest. Right? Anavim, right? Ve'lo anavim ve'davar echet. It's only going to be the anavim themselves, by themselves. But you can't come and take the anavim with salt in order to make them tastier. Right? Kenav shecha. Yeah? He says, Kenav shecha. He comes and he says, "Kilu der nafshecha shel atzmecha, right? Kenefesh shel balabait, kach nafsho shel poel." Which means that the the, the poel is not considered kilu. He bought it from the the balabait, but the kilu the anavim belong to him from the beginning. Ma nafshecha ochelu patur. Just like when you're going to eat, you're going to be patur from taking off the maaser. So to these perot and nafsho shel poel, is he's going to eat and he's patur from taking off maaser, which means. That it's going to come out that this guy is going to eat and he's not having maaser. Maaser is only taking off afterwards. So until then, so for example, let's say I had my workers. They're in the field. They come and they're taking. Now beforehand, I was looking thing. I come and say, I've got two hundred kilos. So I'm going to come. I should take off maaser. No, you only take off maaser when the end product. Now they came and they ate. Let's say 10, 10 kilos. Right between all the workers that I had or whatever it is. I don't know the percentages, but whatever. Let's stop. I just gave it an example. Yeah. So now I only have to give maaser on one hundred ninety. Right? Why? Because it's going to be patul from Maser. So vecha, velo achila gasa. When it says you're allowed to eat from the fruits, you're not allowed to eat an achila gasa. Vel keli chalot iten, v'sha shata noten le keliyo shel balabait. Right? What does that mean? When you're going to be osek, and that's li shavin u'chubad, then you're allowed to eat. V'sha shata noten le keliyo shel balabait, but if you're not doing it, which means before the tli sha, iya ta ochel you're not allowed to. Meaning only when you're actually reaping, do you have the permission to come and start eating from the fruits. If you're not reaping, that was the keli chalot we learned before, that is the zaman, that is the time. So Amar Abiyanai says Abiyanai, 
אין התבל מתחייב במעשר, the table is not going to be חייב, remember, the table is untied produce, that means you do not take תרומות ומעשר, it's not going to be חייב במעשר, עד שיראה פני הבית, until it's going to see the פני הבית, why the, the entrance of the house, זה פסוק, ביארתי על קודש מן הבית, רבי יוחנן אמר, רבי יוחנן קמנין נמצא, דין מחצר, אסקובת, שנאמר ואכלה בשולחה וסביר, ומוקנטיניו בעזרת השם, on Sunday.